All right. We have to interrupt this little part of the program for uh, the wonderful Damon Wayans. Who, uh, there he is. What's up? How Let's you doing? See. How you doing, Damon? I'm good. How you doing? You're going to put it on the screen. There we go. There you go. Wow. What are you just kind of walking around your house with the phone? Yep. Walking around. Yes, sir. That's not bad. Let me see. Are you at your own digs there? Your own house? Yes. Uh, you're not going to let us see? Nope. <laughs> I got to want to say, oh, that's nice. Damn. Where are you? California, right? I'm in L.A. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're uh, at the Irvine Improv, Irvine, California, uh, today through Sunday. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And what, uh, how, how is it out there in, in the clubs? You, you find uh, the, the PC thing kind of getting in the way? I know Seinfeld talked about colleges and playing that, and he said uh, it's a little too PC for him out there. How are you, how are you dealing with the uh, climate out there? I'm retiring. That's how I'm dealing with it. You are? From stand-up, yep. This is like your fa final friggin' little outing on... Uh... It's au revoir, the au revoir tour. And why is that? Because the climate is weird. It's weird. It's not It's not the fun, the process. You know, Seinfeld and I are from the same school of, you know, just go up and talk crazy and let people, you know, people hear things that they, you know... Mm -hmm. They didn't hear before, and and they laugh. That's what they you come to the club to laugh. You don't come there to, to have an opinion. Yeah, don't we see? It seems like we forgot about what the context is all about of comics. Like everyone's held to this standard that you know a comic or a, a news anchor man or a doctor or anything should all be held to this same standard, and it, that's bullshit. It's like a comic. You go to see a comic to hear stuff that's a little outrageous, funny, uh, offensive, and uh, why why should they be held to the same standard? Uh, as as other people with wh wh what they're talking about. Amen, brother. Amen. I hear you. So you decide to hang it up after how many years you've been in the business, man? I remember watching you doing that cripple people shoes bit. Holy uh, shit! Yeah, that. Um, t uh, I've been doing stand up since 1982. Oh my god! So you went through the whole phase where everyone was a stand up comic. And every show on Friday and Saturday nights was a, a stand-up comedy show. And uh, it took a while for the for the cream to float to the top. <laughs> yeah, there was an explosion, a mass explosion of stand-up. Like, you know, people were turning bowling alleys into comedy clubs. And, you know, barbecue and comedy, you know, everywhere you went, there were comedians. And then, you know, like you said, the cream rose to the top. And then, um, you know, um, it kind of... I don't know. There's still a lot of comedians out there, but the process is different. They're busy trying to get followers, not funnier. Yes. And you know what? Years ago and up until, I guess, the advent of a, a lot of social media. Uh, yeah, it was how funny are you, not how popular are you or how many. There were a few comics that were amazingly popular, but not very funny. They're filling theaters and not very funny. And I think now we have more of that because it's just kind of like a popularity contest. Yep, that's what it is. People go see someone, they'll pay money, good money, to see someone, and they're not funny. They just take pictures. They film them, and, you know, it's like, but they had a good time because they feel like they know these people. It's Isn't like, that's... you know, the guy down the street is on stage, and it's not really about, they, they, and these guys don't really have a bar in terms of what's funny, you know, what mm -hmm. to expect for themselves. And so they just, you know, it's just showing up. You know, if you see... People who are famous on Instagram and Snapchat, either it's the biggest whore in your town <laughs> or it's the crazy. It's like, you know, they have like retarded people literally <laughs> yeah. going around going, got him. And, you know, all these little weird catchphrases and people are lining up in malls to see him and take pictures with him. And then what? I just don't, uh, I don't get that whole part of it. It was always about how funny someone is. And when you told your friends about a comic, uh, like years ago, I remember when I first saw Dice on one of the uh, Young Comedian specials. The Dice, uh, man. Oh, gosh. When <laughs> I first saw Dice, I was like, I had to tell my friends, not like, oh, I think a lot of people see this guy or know this guy. It was like, my God, I'm seeing something I've never seen before. This guy's out of his fucking mind. It's hilarious. And you just don't really get that anymore. There's so few comics that you can even... And it's not the comics' fault. It's the people's fault. You, they don't want to hear how funny someone is. How many followers does he have? Oh, right. uh, you know, what, what's the demo? I don't know. I like a, funny. A guy like Sam Kennison would never make it nowadays. Oh, my God. First of all, the material alone would get him friggin' blackballed. You'd just be right. gone. 
And right. uh, yeah, what do you do after that? You've been uh, in some controversial things with uh, with the uh, the uh, Living Color. You know, there was some things even doing homie and shit. You couldn't even fucking do that. It w- it would be too offensive. Yeah, nowadays it would. I mean, back in the day, it was it was hilarious, and it was just we went far, just far enough to you know to make people go, oh my god, I can't believe they're saying that. Now it's like, you, how dare you say that? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you're on the the you get caught up in the 24 hour news cycle because there is no such thing as 24 hours of news, so they're looking to put anything in the cycle, whatever. Yeah, fill it up, fill and it and so social media has given people so much access and instant access that they didn't used to have. So if you were outraged by something years ago, you literally had to, you know, write out something. First of all, you had to know how to write a letter uh, and then put it in an envelope and figure out where it had to go. Uh, It took a lot more effort to be outraged uh, back then. But now a hashtag and you're you're a part of it, man. You're 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 getting someone fired or you're uh, trying to blackball someone from a club. how, yep. how have you dealt with with that side of uh, the business, the technology side, and the instant uh, access to you? Well, the first thing I did is get off of Twitter, and I I, I kind of divorced myself from it. I yeah, went, I should have done. I that. went on a vacation to well, I like a workation to uh, Big Sur, and I just set out and looked at the water, and I realized how much time and energy it took for me to tweet and you know and and try to you know keep a you know keep a positive outlook on life when you're reading people going you're not funny you're not relevant your brother marlin you know and it's just (laughs) like i don't don't need some guy who's never done anything in his life telling me that i'm irrelevant you know what i mean just to me i to i don't i don't need that information and i think that you know, people who have huge social media profiles, if, if you're busy feeding that animal, you can't be feeding your creativity. It takes too much time and energy, and then you can't fail. And it's it's instant gratification. You're mm. great. You're the best. You're the funniest. You know, so if I – why go to the club if I can look down on my phone and see, you know, all that praise? Instant – yeah, instant gratification. That's a great point. You, you, you need some human interaction, especially in the arts. You know, you can't really give an opinion in a text or in a, a, a tweet um, sincerely uh, about the arts and, and saying you suck or, you know, I get that too. Oh, my brother and, you know, my brother. But my, the good thing is I'm, I'm good. My brother sucks. So that works, <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> But no, they, they'll they, turn on you too. Oh, absolutely. You know what it is though? When you're in any field in, in entertainment, you feel now that social media is part of the, the, the gig. Like you, you feel you're promoting yourself and you get caught up in the fact that I need to do this to keep my job or to keep, uh, progressing in, in, in my, uh, craft as they say. But uh, that's not necessary. I think it's full of a lot of negativity. I'm guilty of it. Fuck, I'm on it all the time, like an asshole. Yeah, well, the best thing you can do is try to unplug, see how, how free, how, how relieved you are. I mean, you know, I didn't throw away my account. I just don't. I took it off my phone. Mm-hmm. And um, it, I just realized that I feel better. I feel my self-esteem rose again, you know, to the point where, you know what, I don't need that kind of daily validation I got to go. I got to focus on, you know, trying to do something great and be someone great, mm-hmm. you know, not just in show business, but in life. And this really was consuming my time and energy. Yeah, absolutely. Making me depressed, really. I hear you. I hear you. And I'm still in there like a dumb fuck. I'm still sitting there <laughs> like tweeting this shit and getting into arguments. And I don't know why I do it. I know it's stupid. But it's like it, it is a form of addiction, I think. It I, is addiction. It's a habit. They figured yeah. it out. They figured out. They really did. Uh, and they rob people of their real voice. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, Twitter serves its purpose, but, you know, it's really hard to express how your outrage with, you know, the things that are going on in the world and, you know, in, in politics and, in, in, you know, police brutality and, you know, and racism. And it's hard. You can't really say what you really feel in 140 characters. 
Yeah, well, that's, you know, trying to get into a uh, worthwhile debate in 140 characters, literally impossible. Yeah. You just can't do it. And no one has face to face interactions anymore. I would love open and honest conversations and debates about things you just don't see it anymore it's it's too hard to look someone in the eye and give them an opinion that you feel they might not uh, like or get an opinion that you don't like and talk it out it's so easy to just go fuck you or label someone you're a racist you're sexist you're homophobic you're this you're that instead of actually discussing it it's easy to just give someone a label hashtag them and send them on their way uh it's it's a, a cowardly way of carrying on a, a debate yeah but it's also you know i gotta believe that it's it's um you know it's part of a plan too to you know they figure it out all of this stuff is you know um analyzed it's it's data it's analytics it's big data to figure out you know people and the way people think and feel and what they do and how they react and how do you how do you get them outraged how do you uh, you know, how do you stifle, mm. you know, the uh, people movements and, you know, it's it's they've got it down to a science. Isn't it amazing when you think back and I brought this up a few times when when you think back at uh, how big government, the government, the all knowing kind of was supposed to give, you know, put some kind of tracking device in us and figure out uh, 1984 ish kind of Orwellian thing. And it just turned out you had to give us these little devices that we now carry around and give out every bit of information free freely of our own free will we give it out when years ago we thought it would have to be collected that some agent would have to uh, come to your door and, and interrogate you and now we're just like yeah here's what i like here's a picture here's this here's where i work here's what i like and don't like we voluntarily gave up our our privacy yeah because the technology so damn sexy yeah, we love it. The newest phones look great, don't they? And we need to have it. We stand online to get the better tracking device to put in our pockets and uh, walk around with. You, uh, you, you come from a big, uh, talented family, and and through throughout uh, the the years, you guys have each had, you know, you, show business is like that. You have your ups and downs and stuff. Are you competitive with your brothers? Do you look and go kind of like? Do you goof around like, ah, I got that movie and you're fucking over here? Or, oh, fuck you, now you got that and I'm over here? No, never. You're, you're very supportive? Well, I mean, when we do bad movies, we tease each other. That's All right, yeah. But, you know, for the most part, it's like there's this, we always believe that what's yours is yours. You know, I never, Marlon never got a role that I wanted. And I'm sure he, there's never been a role that I got that he wished he had. It's, you know, we pretty we're pretty um, comfortable in our own skin and, and, and confident of our own abilities. And, you know, but when I did blank man, they teased me. Oh, they t <laughs> <laughs> that still pops up every so often. You'll be yeah. rolling through the channel guide. And you're like, Oh fuck blank man. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you know, at the time I do, I, I don't regret doing the movie. You, I, you know, you got to take it in the context of the time too. A lot of people don't, take things in a timely context Th during that time yeah there were some goofy movies out there and you know what the fuck I yeah mean, yeah it's kind of fun i like I that had, shit <laughs> i had fun and a check cleared there you go that's that's what's important uh damon waynes today through sunday irvine improv irvine california damon thanks so much for uh popping in and uh, if you're ever in new york i'd like to talk to you at length about a few things that'd be cool Oh, for sure. Please. I would love to. Um, and I uh, hope you guys come out to see me in this uh, farewell. It's going to be fun. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. I didn't know this was your uh, farewell. That's, uh, you've been around a while. And uh, that's I, I understand, though. I totally get it. It's nuts out uh, there. More, better things to follow. Very cool, man. Thanks a lot, Damon. Peace and love, guys. Thank you.